Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $87,066.73. In the past year, I am up $9,047.77. Year to date for the year 2024, I am down $4,855.36. Today was a green day for me. During the day, I was up $2,175.30. After hours, I am down $449.42. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Disney $90 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, I am down $50. I'm selling Disney $100 covered calls. These expire August 9th. My total return, $9. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire August 9th. My total return, $48. I'm selling SoFi $6 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, $21. I'm selling SoFi $6.5 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, I am down $12. I'm selling Amazon $190 covered calls. These expire August 16th. My total return, zero. I'm selling SoFi $7.5 covered calls. These expire August 16th. My total return, I am down $60. I have Amazon $120, $110 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, $16. I have a Disney diagonal spread. I bought the Disney $70 call expiring December 19th, 2025. And I'm selling the Disney $100 call expiring October 18th of this year. My total return, $112. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $790. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $980. I have Verizon $35, $33 credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $253. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $100. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $161.25. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $18,692.95. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.39. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $4,600.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $90.30. My average cost, $60. My total return, $9,090. I have 100 shares of Google. Google's at $157.42. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $1,494.04.
This is a margin account. My margin total is $81,203.21. My margin used is $40,209.61. My options collateral is $39,100. This leaves me with $1,893.60 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $16,246.96. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.75%. The daily interest that I'm paying is 8.98%. And I'm borrowing $1,000 interest free. So green day to day made up a couple thousand dollars, about $2,000 during the day. However, still down a lot overall. In the past week, I'm still down $17,000. So yes, I did recover a couple thousand dollars, but overall still down 17,000 in the past week. So it's a huge loss depending on whether you're looking at uh, the weekly time frame or the daily, but yeah, down very hard on the weekly um, $17,000. A couple of my positions expired this Friday, the 9th. My Disney $90 puts, my Disney $100 covered calls, Google $170 covered calls, SoFi $6 puts, SoFi $6.5 puts. These all expire this Friday, so we'll see what happens. Right now, Disney is above $90, just barely. It's at $90 and something, like 16 cents. Yeah, $90.16, so just barely above 90 so if it does stay that way, then I'll just collect the premium and then keep my, well, keep my cash because it's a cash secure puts. So if it stays above 90, then I'll just collect my premium and that's it. I also have Disney $100 covered calls. So right now Disney is below $100. So if it stays below $100, then I'm going to collect my premium and keep my shares. If for some reason it does very well during the earnings report tomorrow and goes way above 100, then I'm going to get my shares, you know, uh, taken out of my portfolio. However, if that really were to happen, though, I think I would roll them out to a further expiration date just to keep my shares of Disney because I do want to keep them long term. Google, I highly doubt it's going to go over 170 by the end of the week. But I do have covered calls at the 170 strike price for Google. And I'm selling the $6 and the $6.5 puts for SoFi. So right now, SoFi, it's at $6.39. So it's it could go either way. I mean, during the day today, it went above and below 6.5. It was like 662 during the beginning. And then it dipped below, then it went above, you know, 659. Now it's so it's up and down. It could go either way. Um, we'll see what happens, but yeah, so far, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's going to end up below or above six and a half dollars um, on Friday, but we'll see. But yeah, those are the positions that I'm waiting for expiration this Friday. Once they expire, then we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll have some cash freed up and then I'll put that cash towards some other positions. Um, so the biggest news really is Disney is reporting tomorrow. It went up a couple of percentage points today, 2.49% during the day. And it's going to report tomorrow before the market opens. If we scroll down here, it says, yeah, earnings, the estimated is $1 and 19 cents per share. And the actual is going to be available August 7th, pre-market. So before the market opens, tomorrow morning, we're going to find out if Disney did very well, if it did poorly during its earnings report. Um, we'll see. Now, I have heard very good things about how the movie uh, Deadpool and Wolverine has been doing. I saw it myself. I thought it was very good. Um, probably one of the best movies to come out from Marvel in a while. But yeah, I enjoyed it. So hopefully, um, you know, people considered that as well as other things that uh, did well. Um, but we'll see what the numbers are. 
Um, yeah. So I'll be looking out for that tomorrow morning, uh, how Disney does during its earnings report, and then how the stock price does. <laughs> if it goes above 90, uh, you know, stays above 90, or goes above 100, or wherever it goes. So I'll, I'll keep an eye out for Disney tomorrow. All right, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. That's all I have to report. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you guys like this type of content, you guys want to see more of this, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will keep on making more of these type of videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.